Hey everyone, if you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like this video. We're glad to have you here. I want to remind you of a vision I had. It's probably been about two months ago. Remember, we discussed the lilies. Well, if you look, I don't know if I can get it in here, but they're starting to bloom here. Now, I had asked God to give me a sign, you know, something that when we was close and all I dreamed that night was of lilies. And my Easter lilies are starting to bloom now. So just be aware that God has given us a timeline of everything that's going to happen. Now we know he's at the door because I asked him and he gave me a circle in my yard in the snow, as you can remember. So we know that we're on time and we're on schedule for all these events to take place. And he told us right before the famous balloon story that that was going to be a significant news article. He warned us even up to the day that that was a test. Now, all this is playing out now. Now, what I wanted you to keep in mind is that when these events happen, they're going to be fast, they're going to be sudden, okay, very quick. The things that are coming, because he said things will get worse and worse and worse up until what? The end when the church is raptured. So we know the next coming weeks, we're going to see things that we just normally don't see. We're going to see storms like we've never seen them, earthquakes like we've never seen them, horrible news articles coming out from around the world about wars and everything else, and that's all happening. But then all of a sudden it will just escalate, but it will be quick. You won't pretty much see it coming unless you're us and we're looking for it. But the rest of the population, they'll be doing their TikToks and acting like idiots and doing stupid stuff, having no clue that the end is this, this close. You see them, they're going to the store, they have no clue what in the world is going on, just like they did in the days of Noah. Total, complete bliss of their sin, and they just literally are just completely and utterly asleep, and they just don't even see that their world is coming to an end. They have no clue. A lot of you think, you know, I've heard a lot of you reply to me. They're like, you know, I tell everybody they think, well, like I said, yeah, they're going to call you crazy. The Lord already told you that. It's in the Bible. At the last days, they'll scoff. They'll laugh at you. Well, where is your Jesus? Y'all been saying that forever. They did the same thing to Noah, people. Understand, everything was normal except him building a boat out in the middle of nowhere. Attention, Walmart shoppers. But literally... People thought he was crazy. Imagine 125 years building a boat out in the middle of a forest with nowhere near water. You think our job's hard? Think about what he had to go through. Why are you building a boat? It's going to rain. It's never rained a day on earth, but it's going to rain. So imagine what poor Noah had to go through. If you think we've got it hard, we've got it easy compared to what he had. It. God bless Noah and his family. But it was normal, people. you got to remember this. It was normal. Everything was normal. People was marrying, going to work. Everything was normal. Nobody saw it coming. Only no one his family knew. It's not changed very much. There ain't very few. There's very few of us that know now that the world's coming to an end. Very few of us. And yeah, it's hard. You just got to keep your head up. As God said, my, so, my, fit, my sheep will hear my voice, and he will. It's those people you got to reach. The rest of them, you just got to pretty much shake it off and go to the next. I know that's hard. It's hard for me, but they won't hear it, just like they didn't during Noah's time, and they won't hear it this time. Up until the storm gets them, they will, they will not open their eyes. They just love their sin. They love this world, and they don't want to give it up. But I'm telling you, the internet, sports, all that's coming to an end within weeks. All of it's going to be gone. No more politicians. All that's going to be gone. And they have no clue that it's coming for them. And even if they did, they wouldn't believe it. And all the way to the end, when everything's gone, they still won't believe it. Because they they just won't give God a chance. God's warned them. It's in Revelation. God's told them this day was coming. He told us the signs. The signs are all here. He's like, oh, no, we've always had rumors of wars. Not like we have now. 
people, back in the day, you could have wars. But they didn't have wars when every country had nuclear weapons. This is what they don't tell you. They're like, we've always had earthquakes. People, they're having earthquakes in Florida. In places they don't have earthquakes. One happened in England just the other day. They don't know where it came from. All the signs are there. God's talking to us. You know, all, a lot of us have been so asleep, even me, including me, before October the 24th, that even I didn't see them. But once you're awake, boy, you start seeing it. The, the key of it is being awake. A lot of you ask me, Chris, how do we know not to, who to stay away from on these channels? For one thing, anybody that tells you that the Bible's corrupted and just written by man, they're not of God. They don't know God. They've never known God. That If you say that the God that created the universe, everything in seven days, cannot keep an eye on the Word of God and to make sure that the most important things are there, you don't know God. And you belittle Him to the point where he, you think He's just somebody that's like us. The church is horrible at this. They belittle Him all the time. They act like the God that created it all can't do anything. And that's what these people are saying when they say that. Trust me, Jesus had a hand, and every time that Bible was translated, he had a hand in it. Don't ever think he didn't. He is the old powerful God. He's King of kings, Lord of lords. He created everything. He created you. He knows every, he's counted every hair on your head. And you don't think that he could literally make sure that that Bible was uh, transcribed by the right people? Trust me, he had the people there every time when it was changed to put the things in there that needs to be there. Trust me, he wouldn't do you that way. It's called faith, people. Have a little bit of it. People don't have that anymore. Trust me, I know my father, and he wouldn't do that. These people don't know our father. They don't care. They don't want to know him. All they do is they work for their master. Now, they, they come to you like they're working for God, but they're not. They work for Lucifer. That's everywhere around here. Remember, we're in the last days, people. You got to remember that. You can't, I mean, I know that's hard for you to believe, but we are at the end. And Lucifer has everything. The Antichrist is already here. He's already in the background. He's been in the background for probably about three or four years. We don't know him. We don't need to know him. We don't care because we won't be here when he's here. But he's here. And once we're gone, he will be revealed probably maybe about six months after. But he's already here. He's behind all this. He's already here. He's already got his power. But if you hear anybody talk about the Bible like that, you unsubscribe, you get away from them. If you have anybody adding to the Bible, adding the United States is Babylon, Israel is Babylon, when they don't know anything about the Bible, you get, get away from them. Unsubscribe, get away from them. You've got to watch these channels. Anybody that teaches you revelations already happened, that's a lie. That's not, that's not biblical. That's not scripture. Get away from them and subscribe. Don't go back to them. Don't watch them. Because, I mean, and there are followers. Some of these people have 80,000 80, followers and stuff, and they all amen them, have no clue what they're amening. They amen themselves straight to hell. That's what they're going to do. See, when I tell you to read the Bible one or two hours a day, that's for a reason. It keeps you away from these Satan's army, and he's got an army on YouTube. And I mean, some of these people are missionaries, and they don't know the Bible from Adam. I mean, I'm, I've even been shocked about how much these people are like, well, I'm a missionary, and I do this and do that, and they don't know squat about the Bible, not squat. If anybody tells you the whole Bible is for you, get away from them. That is not true. Most of the Bible is about the Jews. The seven-year tribulation is about the Jews. When the seven-year tribulation is for the ones who did not believe in God, which will be Gentiles, and but the, really it's for the Jews to accept him as the Messiah. Anybody teaches you any different? It's not scripture. It's a lie. You are the church. You're the bride of the church. Anybody tells you any different? It's a lie. Do not go back. Get rid of the channel. Do not subscribe to these people. They don't know how to rightfully divide. And if you don't know how to rightfully divide the Bible, you can't teach it. I'm sorry. But that's where we're at. That's why we have the problems we have. 
It's because people don't know how to teach the Bible and that we've all been taught wrong. You know, before I got on here, I, had, I asked God to take me to everything I need to know to have this channel. And I all for four months, that's all I did. Is to make sure all the issues that you have a question about, I, I know how to find it and help you to stay away from these other people because they're completely false teachers. Some of them have never read a Bible in their life and they're on here. Like I said, Satan uses God's people and they just accept it and they do it. You got to be careful. But if you ever have a question, I'm telling you, me and Bonnie, we, we go over stuff every day and every night. If you have a question, we will find it and we'll get it answered if we don't know it. But we're not here to lead you wrong. That's why I tell you about the rapture. People that don't teach rapture, it's completely false gospel. I know it's hard to believe, but it's a cult. It really is. It's a cult. It's people that are so... <sighs> miserable they think that jesus dying on the cross for your sins was not good enough for them that they've got to do it themselves they need to be punished it's the stupidest thing that i've ever heard i mean it's just so dumb and it's not bible it's not scripture they go to the matthew that's where they go but see the church ain't in matthew it's not there he's talking to the jews because they will have wrath because they're in the seven-year tribulation, people. That's what he's talking about. If you read the whole chapter instead of one verse, you'll know that. But see, they take that one verse, and what do they do? Just like all these other false teachers, they twist the Scripture. Well, I, it don't work for me. God took me to where I need to go. So they can't twist it with me. They're like, well, I'm like yeah, whatever, dude. Good luck to you. Get, it, get, it, get the Antichrist uh, autograph for me while you're at it. Because we won't be here. You know, you can believe it all you want, but you don't know the Bible. I do know the Bible. I know the scripture that I need to know. And trust me, there's a rapture. Hence why Jesus told me to get on here and tell everybody he's coming. If he, if he didn't tell me that or to tell me that and then come here and just leave you, how much sense does that make? And he's not just told me. He's told many, many, many people. And they've been out there telling you that Jesus is coming. He wanted you to know because there's a rapture. You know, today, I, I'm really shocked by how much, li how little people know about God. And God has told me over and over, the lack of knowledge has destroyed the church and his people. And it's the truth. They have no knowledge of the Bible, no knowledge of the truth. You've got a bunch. Satan's got so many people out here teaching false religion. It's just amazing. But not you. You're smart. That's why you're here. And God's going to bring the right people to this channel. Because here you want the truth. You don't want the garbage. And I'm telling you, on this channel, you're getting the truth. Don't let anybody else tell you. If anybody in the comments tells you any different, they're liars. I'm telling you. You're my family. I'm not going to lead you wrong. I made sure before I ever got on this channel to know if the rapture was real. And the truth about other things I wanted to know. And I found out. God told me. So don't let anybody else take it. I don't care. And trust me, they're going to hit you with these one little scriptures here and there, here and there. When they hit you, if you see anybody quoting one scripture, run, because you cannot get anything from one scripture. That's the first thing I learned. you got to read the whole chapter. Who are they talking to? See, they won't tell you that because they are a cult. And that's how cults are formed. They have, they use one little scripture. They turn it and flip it and scare you to death. Well, let me tell you something. The only ones have to be scared is them, not you. Stick to this channel. And if you have a question, we'll go over it. That's what we do here. You're my family. I'm not here to lead you wrong. I'm not here to make money off of you or anything like that. I'm here to get you to heaven, to calm you down, and tell you that Jesus loves you and he's coming. That's my job. You know, I'm constantly praying for the channel, praying that God gives me the right words and sends the right people to the channel that they'll hear it. And that's what's happening. So God bless each and every one of you. Keep everybody and all these people in the path of these storms and your prayers and the world and all these other countries because the world's falling apart faster than I can see straight. God bless each and every one. If you don't see you, 
see you again or you don't hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.